and we're going to discuss Erie Steelhead Fishing. And this is basically my starter kit. Everyone has their own preferences, but I wouldn't go fishing any time of the year without at least taking along these particular presentations. First of all, single eggs. Can't beat them. Put these on a number 16 hook, largest, and as little as 18 or 20 if you need to when they're getting real finicky. These baits work all the time, all year long, from early fall right on through late spring. Another one I always have with me, good old egg sacks. Pink, white, chartreuse, whatever floats your boat as far as color, but you gotta have egg sacks with you. Again, with the single eggs and the egg sacks, you're gonna be floating those under a bobber. Sometimes you're going to be laying them right on the bottom. doesn't make any difference. Well, I should say it does make a difference. depends on what the fish you're into. You give them what they want, you'll catch them. The other thing everyone has with them is soft plastics. You need to get yourself some jig heads. I like gold. Some people like silver. Some people have black, white, you name them. There's all kinds of options. Take a gold head, and then you can use any type of bass assassins, color preference depends on the fish of course and we often talk about gulp minnows power bait minnows different sizes you basically can get them I think this is emerald shiner and this is a smelt as far as the type but there's all kinds of color options and name options you pick what suits you and good old jigs marabou bucktail you name it I've got a few of everything. You can see I do like the gold, gold and black, white with the gold, some without. Another option that worked real well for me was the black with the chartreuse head, but haven't done well. I still carry them anyhow, just hoping for some day when they come back into favor as far as the fish are concerned. Then a little bit of a hodgepodge of everything else on the back. Another color combination is the green or white and the brown and white last couple of years uh, who knows every year is different but I always take both and finally although I don't do a lot of fly fishing because I fish everything on a spinning rod something everyone talks about is nymphs I'm not quite sure if you can get a good look at these puppies but one stone fly he has a pheasant tail they talk about copper johns and all kinds of options but basically it's a Tiny little bug with a gold or black head. And fly anglers use these in tandem sometimes. And I fish them under a float. Everyone talks about woolly buggers. You name it. Brown, white, pretty much the same kind of a fly. This is an egg sucking leech. I carry it around because I got a lot of a fish. Never caught anything on it, but can't seem to throw it away. And then egg patterns in different colors and I'm not quite sure what the heck this is supposed to be but I watched a guy catch 30 fish on this thing fish after fish well I was pretty much getting skunked I call it fuzz I guess it's some kind of an egg pattern I'm not sure what it's called maybe any someone looking at this may say yeah I know what that is but I don't and the other thing is everyone talks about sucker spawn looks like a little bit of a piece of carpet to me comes in different colors different size hooks sometimes they put a little bit of flash in it again you fish what works and you find out what works by trying them out on the fish and a couple other things that make your fishing go easy hemostats always carry a pair helps getting the hook out of the fish helps crimping down your split shot these things with you. Something else you want to have along, I found out in years past, is that when you wet a jig or a fly, you don't want to stick it back into your box. I like to pin these things on a piece of styrofoam that I keep in my pocket or my fishing vest. Then I can go back to them if the fish start hitting them again. And also, I set this out inside the motel room or back at home. It gives the flies a chance to dry before I put them away. 
and then I don't end up with so many rusty hooks. And we all know what happens when you fish a rusty hook. You break the first fish off that comes along after it's rusted, and then you're done. And something I've been carrying lately is a soft tape measure. You have one of these things, you catch and release fish, but you can take a measurement in length as well as the girth around that fish. And there's a calculator on fishstillatelli.com. You plug in the numbers that you've noted, it'll give you the pounds depending on the fish species. And there's one there for trout or steelhead. And that's it. If you got these baits whenever you go to Erie this year, uh, you may not catch fish, but you'll certainly be prepared when they're ready to bite because you got the best baits that everyone's been using up there. Every day is different, but these baits consistently catch steelhead. You'll find that out. Hope this helps you.